up, guys? Jeff Cavalier, AthleteX.com. So we know that the pull-up is one of the best bodyweight exercises that you can do. But did you know that the chin-up is one of the best bicep exercises you can do? A lot of you probably do know that, but I will tell you this. Unless you're focusing on the three tips I'm going to show you today, you're probably not getting the most out of this exercise. And for those that didn't think it was all that great for biceps, you'll immediately start thinking differently because these three tips are easy to do and you're going to feel it a lot more. Firstly, what's the chin-up versus you know, a, a pull-up? Well, the chin-up is underhand grip. The pull-up is overhand grip. Okay, That's the end of the beginner lesson here. Now, with the chin-up, what you want to do is focus firstly on how you're gripping the bar. A lot of us will just grab the bar and then do our chin up and pull ourselves up and down. Okay? You can be more specific though. And how do you be more specific? By focusing the grip through just these two fingers your ring finger and your pinky finger. Because when I grab the bar, if I grab with those two fingers first and leave my thumbs off the bar and then just wrap the other ones around, what I get is the ability to pull down through just those two fingers as hard as I possibly can. I get an increased activation of the bicep because if I were to not have this bar blocking my way and blocking my ability to pull down, it would actually turn my wrist into supination. These come down, it turns my wrist into supination. We know that supination here at the forearm is going to more actively engage the bicep just by doing that. So we're isometrically engaging supination by pulling down as hard as we can. You'll be able to feel the difference right away when you do that. Next step. You want to make sure that you're aware of how much you're flexing at the elbow. Because we know that the bicep is an elbow flexor, but do we want to do our chin-ups really tight in here like that? Or would we be better off having some separation, more like a 90 degree angle here at the arm and the elbow when we do them? The answer is more of a 90 degree angle. Now why is that? Well, we know we have sufficient tension here on the bicep, and yes, you can get a little bit more by closing down the angle a little bit more, but not when you consider the final thing I'm going to tell you here. And that is, in order to get the maximum contraction of the bicep and feel this chin up even more, you can do something, a little tweak, to get some additional shoulder flexion. We know that the bicep crosses the shoulder too, so it doesn't just act at your elbow, but it also acts at your shoulder. It's a shoulder flexor. We can get our shoulder into more flexion by dipping our head under the bar. Now before you start saying, but Jeff, behind the head, that's terrible. You can never do behind the neck things. That's terrible. No, there's a big difference between doing behind the neck pull downs in which the vulnerability of our shoulder joint here is really exacerbated versus having our elbows in front of our body and then getting our elbows up. This is a much safer position for the shoulder than this with our hands all the way back. We've done far less strain to the anterior capsule of our shoulder. So what you do is you get in this position, and as we're getting into our, our chin up, the shoulder, the, the head dips underneath. Now, as we come up and squeeze, we have more shoulder flexion here relative to what we had before. Here, my shoulders and elbows, especially, are pointing down. Here, when I'm up at the top, my shoulders and uh, elbows are pointed up more into flexion. So, back to the point about the amount of flexion you want at your elbow. By backing off just a little bit to 90 degrees, you've allowed for a really tight contraction because you do have some elbow flexion, you do have some supination force, and you do have now some shoulder flexion, but you don't have something called active insufficiency where you go to full range on every single one all the way up to here and then try to go to flexion. You'll actually weaken your bicep contraction a little bit just by virtue of the fact that this muscle crosses multiple joints and there's not enough length to allow for tension across all joints. You back off just a little bit, you do the three tips I showed you here, you will feel the most intense contraction you've ever felt on a chin up, and I guarantee you, you'll get much more out of the exercise. So there you have it guys, a bodyweight exercise for your biceps that requires just a pull up bar, you can get one at any sporting goods store for 15 bucks and hang it up in your doorway. But the bottom line is, you don't even need that. I tell you guys all the time, you can build muscle, a lot of muscle, with just your body weight alone if you know how to train it. Our Athlean Zero program, six weeks long, we show you how to do it without anything. Not even a pull-up bar, nothing. It's called no bands, no bars, no bench, nothing at all. You can find that over at athleanx.com. But if you found this video helpful, make sure you give me a, a thumbs up and you let me know how many of these have you not been doing and when you do try them out, how much more do you feel it? All right, guys, we'll be back here again real soon. See ya.